Hello, I'm Salome Gavashelishvili, an exchange student from Georgia. The course International Conflict Resolution has been especially interesting and important for me, as unfortunately nowadays we face frozen conflicts in Georgia, occupied territories of Abkhazia and South Ossetia, and unresolved dispute between Russian Federation and Georgia. Territorial integrity has been remaining the main concern for Georgian society for years. In this video presentation, my respondents will show their knowledge about the current situation in conflict territories and express their opinion about the relation between Russia and Georgia, as well as evaluate the effectiveness and importance of third-party intervention in the conflict. First of all, I want to thank the head of the course, Professor Cezai Oschelik, for uh, such informative and interesting lectures and, of course, my dear respondents who put a great effort to help me with my project. Thank you very much. My name is Dennis Dickerson. I'm from the United States. I live in Turkey, next to the Republic of Georgia. <clears throat> uh, naturally, when most people ask me about Georgia, <clears throat> I have to ask, the Republic of Georgia or the American state Georgia? <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, here in Turkey, it's always Georgia. And I was asked what I know about the current situation between Russia and Georgia. And I admit that I don't know as much what's going on now as I do remember back in the 1990s when the Soviet Union dissolved and the uh, Soviet republics were struggling to either be independent or part of a larger commonwealth. I do remember Georgia specifically having trouble with uh, uh, ethnic Russians in two areas. These areas, I can't remember what they're called. I remember reading South something, and I'll never remember. The name of uh, that was in the early 90s, and I remember uh, there were several hot spots like this throughout Russia's neighbors, uh, Ukraine, uh, Chechnya, uh, Georgia. And I do remember that I was traveling in Romania in 2008 and there was a similar situation in Moldova. It reminded me of the situation in Georgia and I remember seeing on the news while I was in Europe of the European leaders uh, traveling to the capital, Tbilisi, uh, which, whether it was deliberate or not, stopped the Russian army from further encroachment on the capital, which I believe would have been the end of Georgia as we know today. Uh, I am always hopeful that in these situations that Russia comes out the loser in Ukraine, Moldova, Georgia, and wherever places that they have designs on. Uh, that's all I know offhand about the situation in Georgia today. Um, okay, so evaluate the current situation in occupied territories. What steps should be taken to resolve the conflict by the government of Georgia and international organizations? Uh, well, first off, uh, whatever is going on in Abkhazia and Ossetia is uh, completely horrible from both perspectives of Georgian people and people living there. There is complete paralysis and stagnation among communication between the two countries, which uh, results in disinformation uh, both from the media and the government of, of the respective countries and I consider it to be a big issue on a social level because there is no integration whatsoever be between Georg Georgian and Abkhazian people for example. Um, uh, the families are not able to see each other, they were separated a long time ago, which is also quite a social issue in my opinion. And in order, like this, this is something that cannot be resolved in a short term. Uh, if it could, it would have been possible even years ago when the governments changed and when uh, Georgia undertook new policies and regulations. Um, 
Other than that, um, I mean, I think it is impossible to resolve the conflict unless uh, there is some sort of internet intervention on, from the side of uh, officials like U European Union or uh, NATO. Uh, however, uh, I also consider it to be extremely vital that um, Georgia, on, on its way of becoming a part of the European Union, doesn't uh, say no to the occupied territories and doesn't deny uh, that they are the part of uh, Georgia, that uh, they, like Georgia could become a federative state, that's what the government could undertake, and being a federation would enable the autonomous republics to become a part of it uh, and make a whole country. Um, how, however, once again, it's a really long-term process, and I think it's not possible at this very moment, considering the economic situation uh, in Georgia and Abkhazia, and uh, the way the citizens just treat each other on a daily basis. Is this your opinion about the current relationship between Georgia and Russia, and should Russia be considered as a strategic, political, and economic partner of Georgia? Um, well, uh, I think uh, considering the ongoing situation, the conflict between Turkey and Russia, and uh, everything going on in Syria, and the fact that uh, Russia is undertaking military action on uh, on the occupied territories, I think that uh, working together with Russia would undermine Georgia's potential to uh, become a part of international organizations such as European Union. Thus, I think it's important that uh, Georgia maintains its neutrality as it has before and doesn't intervene in any of the conflicts because, truth be spoken, uh, if Georgia uh, goes uh, aggressively against Russia, then uh, we stand no chance at this very moment without any military support from any other country. Uh, thus, I think it's really important for Georgia to maintain neutrality. Other than that, um, Georgia-Russian relations, uh, I mean, as a social subject, as a social subject, it should not be discussed that the citizens of Georgia and Russia should stick together and it's totally fine and political issues should not be in the way of uh, people communicating with each other. However, on a governmental level, I think that the, the politics that Putin is undertaking right now uh, would undermine the entire functioning of Georgia as a republic. So. Um, based building up on all of that, I think it's completely wrong from Georgia to take any anyone's side at this very moment, considering all the ongoing situation around the world. The first question it is: um, evaluate the current situation in occupied territories and what steps should be taken to resolve the conflict by the Georgian government of uh, the government of Georgia and the international organizations. Um, for the conflict, I would pretty much say that it's. Um, frozen at the moment. We haven't had much progress when it comes to our occupied territories. Um, as for what the Georgian government to, to do, um, I'm pretty sure that their hands are tied right now. Um, the only thing we can do is probably maybe uh, kind of show off, show the fact that we dislike what, the, what Russia is doing right now and we should kind of avoid actively cooperating with Russia, even though I do believe in a balanced relationship with uh, the Russian Federation. As for international organizations, um, They've been doing multiple sanctions, as we know, but the sanctions haven't been really effective. Um, I'm not sure of a new approach, however. Um, I guess there will be a point where the sanctions will be work or not. Um, the second question is, what's your opinion about the current relationship between Georgia and Russia? Should Russia be considered as a strategic, political, and economic partner of Georgia? Um, for uh, Georgia-Russian relations at the moment, are, it's safe to say that our government is quite pro-Russian. Um, because we do strive towards Europe, uh, when, like for example, we uh, due to the visa liberalization. But politically, I can safely say that our government is pro-Russian. Um, I do believe in a balanced relationship between Russia and Georgia, as I said. But um, we should definitely display the fact that we are uh, currently unsatisfied with the situation. But I wouldn't say that we should strive as enemies of Russia, because what Russia can do is they definitely can simply. Um, just destroy us in a way. Um, so, of course, a balanced relationship would be wise. Um, as for the third question, what do you know about the third party intervention in Georgia and Russian conflict and how would you evaluate its effectiveness? Um, the third party interventions are pretty much by NATO, European Union, and the uh, um, right. uh, I would say that the only thing they've pretty much done are sanctions, and as a small country like Georgia, where our hands are pretty much tied, um, that is the only thing we can do. Um, the thing is that uh, even the 
Russia at this moment, military-wise, is so powerful that, and they have so much political influence due to their energy resources that we pretty much can't do anything. Even the international organizations, for example, um, uh, European Union, it's so much dependent on Russia with we have energy resources that their hands are tied as well. The only thing that they can do is just propose sanctions, and that's pretty much it. So, which, as I said already, has so much been, has so far been ineffective, but. I hope there will be a time where the European Union will be energy independent and maybe the sanctions will, they can basically act more in a way so that they're not so re re relied on Russia that much. Okay, well, so regarding the first question, what I know about the uh, South Society and Abkhazia is that their government is totally pro-Russian, so that means that the uh, relationship between Georgia and these occupied territories can't be so uh, good uh, as long as their political views are different. But uh, I can't say more because uh, these two regions are kind of in vacuum, so we don't really have um, much information what is happening there right now, but we do wish uh, to have uh, this information or at least to have some kind of connection with those regions and with the people who are living there but unfortunately right now because of uh, being occupied we are uh, some kind of splitted from each other um, regarding the conflict by the government uh, <laughs> regarding the solutions yeah uh, well I think that at first it's very important to include local people uh, in some kind of exchange with um, a cultural exchange with uh, Georgians. I mean, I consider them also Georgians, but I mean those who are uh, on the other side of uh, the border. Um, and uh, I would suggest to include, uh, especially yes, because uh, this is our future generation, and if we kind of get to know each other and we some kind of programs or at least. Uh, some kind of in, uh, intervention in the um, border village or I don't know, just uh, some kind of connection with even social media, it would work well as long as we find out each other's views on the future and our um, future relationship. Uh, regarding government, I think that they're already working about this problem and the fact that uh, they have uh, introduced Abkhazian experts in Georgia for some economical issues. I remember it was maybe uh, last year, uh, and they tried to work with them uh, in one of the European countries with Georgian and Abkhazian experts. It would work well as long as they uh, exchange their ideas and also again get to know each other and maybe we can understand more about uh, those people. Uh, regarding current relationship between Georgia and Russia, where, well, um, latest news say that uh, Russia is kind of ready to give us a visa-free regime again. That means that we are on our best way. And I think that the conflict that happened in 2008 um, is already on the level of uh, solution, resolution, as long as both sides try to um, have some kind of conversations about this and this is already next step and maybe in future we can get along with each other but uh, it's absolutely a political thing and you never know when this uh, kind of political bomb explodes so we just have to hope for now and regarding um, the view on so strategical, strategic political and economical relationship or kind of Russia as our partner. I would say that as long as uh, their, na their neighboring country, of, we of course need them. So it will be great if we have balance between Russia and Europe. So in this way, we won't be too much dependent on any of them. Uh, but it depends also how our product should be exported because wine, as we know, the <laughs> most like biggest export goes to Russia. So in this way, I consider that um, it's very important to understand what product is for which country and in this way balance the situation. And the third question is about um, third party intervention. Well, we know that uh, it's not only about Georgia and Russia, but also European Union tries much to get involved. And uh, mm, so there was there were meetings between Georgia and Russia, but uh, it was also 
held by another person. I don't remember the name right now, but I'm sure that it was different, uh, kind of different theme between them. Uh, so I think that it's very important also that we are not alone in this um, fight and we consider our European friends to be with us in this and I think that all the previous steps are very useful and hope to better inclusion of European Union in this uh, conflict solution, resolution and I just hope for a bright future, that's it. <laughs>